Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today I'll be covering everything you need to know before we dive into Season 4 Fool's Gold. Ever wonder why it is called Fool's Gold? Well, it's because of the event we are about to see in the Battle Royale. But before that, don't tell me you don't buy stuff in Warzone Mobile because it's too expensive. Fear not when you have today's video's sponsor U4GM. They are not only experts at Warzone Mobile services that will make hard challenges become easy. You'll also get 50% off code points and great deals on code redeem codes. Use code CAPO for an extra 5% off. Before you continue, please hit the like button and subscribe subscribe if you are new to the channel. In the new season, treasures will be generated randomly on the Battle Royale map. Players can use the key to open it and get golden bricks. If you successfully recover or carry the first gold brick, you will be awarded an auto activity reward. After opening, the key will only appear in the area where the safe house is located. The safe house containing the key will be marked with a special effect. Using the key, you can unlock chests to obtain more items and golden bricks. It's important to note that you can only carry one brick at a time, so it's best not to get too greedy. Additionally, after the second so on players won't require keys to open the chests. Once the chest is opened, all players will receive a notification indicating that it has been opened, along with the players who opened it. Furthermore, the location of the player carrying a golden brick will be indicated on the map. Certainly, if you prefer to keep actions hidden from other players, you can utilize the recovery stations scattered around the map to store your gold bricks. Upon using recovery station, you will also receive a reward similar to the items obtained from opening the chests. However, storing gold bricks in the recovery station takes some time. During this time, other players Players can also access the recovery stations. Exercise caution to avoid being overtaken while you are using them, or else you will be killed. In the new version, they have fully optimized the activity system in the game. Let me walk through you some of the changes they have made to the activity system or the events tab. The activity system now consists of four main components the benefit manual, theme activity, exchange shop, and the activity center. Rewards and tasks will be updated at the start of each season. Let's delve into the main functions of each part. First, in the benefit manual, you can explore the detailed content, which includes various benefits benefits, lucky coins, and other high quality rewards. In exchange shop, you can utilize the bonus vouchers acquired from the benefit manual to exchange for a variety of real-time rewards such as weapons, characters, and more. Additionally, you can exchange bonus vouchers for lucky coins in the exchange pages. Keep in mind that the manual points and bonus vouchers will reset at the end of the season, so make sure to claim your rewards in a timely manner. The exchange shop may offer new rewards in real time, so remember to revisit each season to discover the latest offerings. The new activity center will show you how to earn points and rewards right from the start. Complete tasks to gain experience and level up your initial bonus, unlocking rewards as you go. It's like the theme activities we had before, but now everything is more organized. With the updated activity system, you will find all ongoing theme activities on one page. This makes it easy to jump into the activities you want to do. The goal is to make the game smoother and more efficient, getting more players involved in the fun. In one of my recent videos, I gave you a sneak peek at the remastered version of Standoff. Today, we are going to explore the map while using the new score streak RCXD also known as Remote Controlled Explosive Device. This is code streak allows you to control an explosive device remotely. However, be cautious because you can still be killed while controlling it. You have the option to detonate the RCXD at any time, but also it has a time limit before it detonates automatically. As it approaches the time limit, it will beep faster and faster until it explodes. Keep in mind that the RCXD makes a distinct sound while moving, so enemies can hear it and try to shoot it down before it reaches its target. The newest multiplayer mode coming to Call of Duty Mobile is Dropkick. This mode will be familiar to those who played Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and will be live in COD Mobile with the start of Season 4. In Dropkick, two teams of six players each will come compete to maintain control of a briefcase. The team holding the briefcase will earn points for every second they possess it. However, the team holding the briefcase will not receive any teammate response until it is dropped. The first team to reach 200 points wins the match. If you are the player holding the briefcase, you will have the option to take down enemies with a pistol or even use the briefcase as a melee weapon. The PC version is on the verge of receiving new round of optimization. Now, please note that the PC version is not globally out yet. It is still under development. These changes and optimizations have been eagerly awaited by players and are finally set to arrive. One notable update is the overhaul of the multiplayer UI, making it more aligned with the gaming preferences of PC players. Furthermore, they have enhanced the scene accuracy of the multiplayer maps. Numerous buildings, residences, and terrain features have been optimized, providing soldiers with a more immersive experience.
Moreover, the options have been expanded to include support of additional mouse buttons, especially mouse button 4 and mouse button 5. A quick adjustment has been made to the body up logic, introducing a new quick body up action. When enabled, soldiers can swiftly transition from the prone position to the standing position by pressing the arrow key. Disabling this option allows players to move in the corresponding direction by pressing the directional key. The running method remains optimized. In case of sprinting sensitivity is full, you can press the shift key to walk. They have also optimized the head-to-head -head operation animation. Now players can throw objects more smoothly. Overall, the performance has been significantly improved resulting in a smoother gameplay. The multiplayer mode has optimized to give a high quality gaming experience. Moreover, players can use the mouse scroll wheel to select different items within the airdrop. Once selected, they can press the F key to acquire the corresponding item. Furthermore, the priority of the F key has been optimized. Now when a teammate is knocked down near a supply box, pressing the F key will prioritize saving the teammate over picking up any items from the box. Additionally, the PC version has optimized the death replay skip function. Players can now press the F key to quickly skip the death replay and return to the action. Performance optimizations have been implemented for the Mythic Creek 6 Ice Drake, Mythic Crowd 5 or 6 and special effects. Moving forward, they will continue to refine and enhance the overall performance of the PC version. So stay tuned for an upcoming optimized PC version for the global version as well. The new camo we are going to get in next season is called Golden Opportunity. It's distinct from the traditional gold camo, featuring an antique look that blends well with the jungle theme of the season. More like treasures hidden in the jungle. Here are some guns to support in this camo. What do you guys think about it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's take one last look at all the balance changes and that should cover up everything you need to know about the upcoming season. The ADS bullet spread of the Type 19 has been decreased from 1021 to 1018. The base ADS movement speed of the Grau has been decreased from 3.16 meters per second to 3.07 meters per second. The decrease in damage radius from 0.65 to 0.45 for the man over thermite mag may not have a significant impact if you are hitting body shots. The S36 has received a damage increase from 3023-18 to 3024-18, along with a lower arm multiplier increase from 1 to 1.1. The Cordite's hit range has been decreased from 1.2 to 0.8. The MSMC has received some buffs. Its headshot multiplier has been increased from 1.1 to 1.3. Its chest multiplier has been increased from 1 to 1.2. And its hipfire spread has been decreased, but only in multiplayer from 191 205 to 100 180. The PKM has undergone some adjustments. Its lower arm multiplier has been buffed from 1 to 1.07. Its ADS bullet spread has been decreased from 920 to 818. And its hit flinch has been decreased from 0.8 to 0.65. The Tundra breath hold time has been decreased from 6 seconds to 2.5 seconds. The Tech 9's range has been increased from 10 20 30 to 12 22 30. And its fire accuracy has been improved in Bad Royal from 120 180 to 4080. With the Swordfish Holbert Mac, the stomach multiplier has been increased from 1.1 to 1.3. The Mac 10 is getting a range buff going from 8 16 20 to 9 17 20. The CBR4 is getting some buffs. Its ADS movement speed is increasing from 3.69 meters per second to 3.9 meters per second. And its hit flinch is decreasing from 1.1 to 1. In Battle Royale, there's an adjustment for the Pump class and the Jet Boost class. The flight height will now is stay the same no matter which trick players use. Effectively fixing the super jump bug. Havoc's activation point requirement is decreased. It's going to be same for the death machine. When it comes to score streaks, the gunship score requirement decreased from 2000 to 1900. Then when it comes to the guardian, health points increased from 400 to 650. Persistent perk score multiplier is decreased from 2 to 1.8. When it comes to the alert perk, it will now detect enemies within a 0.2 second delay in a 10 meter radius. Yes. They have changed the vulture perk recently and now they have buffed it even more. Now the health point recovery after picking up is increased from 30 to 40. 